Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube. <laughs> Uh, it is week 12 of the NFL season. Uh, I believe this is... I'm not... I'm losing track of what week in the college game. But today is the big game between Ohio State and Michigan. Biggest, One of the biggest rivalries in football. I love rivalry week. I love the, you know, that kind of feel about it. Um... In terms of who me and my daughter Hannah want, we don't really want the teams to win. But if we had to pick one, um, Ohio State. I guess we'll go Ohio State. I don't know. Again, coin flip, right? Yeah. But this is the real team we root for, the Georgia Bulldogs. You know the. Yeah. Um, they're doing pretty well this year. Uh, and then, of course, the 3.30 game is uh, Auburn and... Uh, Alabama. And, um, obviously, due to the SEC standings, we really can't root for teams this week because at 3.30 because both Auburn and Alabama obviously affect the Georgia Bulldogs. So... Instead of stressing out about who we want, we're basically going to just sit and watch football games and decorate for Christmas. Yep, we, we got our Christmas tree all set up, but it's not up yet. <laughs> well, we have it out of, you know, we have it out of the closet, but we don't actually have it set up. Um, but speaking of the NFL... Uh, our week 12 picks on Thursday for Thanksgiving, we wanted the Lions over Green Bay, which did not happen. Green Bay won 29... 22. 22. Um, the Lions just never showed up. Uh, did... Um, I was watching the game... I felt like they went home for Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, they kind of went home. <laughs> But, obviously, the tradition of Detroit and Dallas playing every Thanksgiving, a lot of, um, you know, people say, well, why do they always play? Well, here's the history from what I know. In the 1960s, both teams needed that boost of acknowledgement, and both owners said, you know what, why don't we put them on a Thursday during Thanksgiving, then, then the rest was history. Um, and then, of course, Dallas would always play Washington. Uh, the Lions would always play whomever. Sometimes they play each other. And I remember the Thanksgiving Day games with Dallas and Detroit or the... the um, Thanksgiving Day games in general with my um, all-time greatest announced team, John Madden, Pat Summerall. It wasn't, you knew it was a Thanksgiving Day game or a Sunday night game or a Monday night game when they would always announce. And it just, the vibes that John Madden gave out, you know, the turducken and the turkey and the bams and the boops and the, you know, it was very, very exciting and I kind of miss it. But, you know, obviously Joe Buck and whoever he's with or even Tony Romo and Jim Nance's, this generation's John Madden and Pet Summerall. But, you know, it was, um, you know, and then... Recently, they said, well, since we're having Thursday night football on Thanksgiving, why don't we actually um, put football on Thursdays every night or every week, Recent, you know, in recent years. So that's how that tradition came about. But you can't have enough, you can't have enough football because in the summer, once football is over in Say February and March, it's like, oh, 
football is over. What are we going to do? And then training camp starts and all that. And you're like, I sniff it. I smell it. And then preseason starts and you're doing your wins and losses. And, and then all of a sudden, the season is over. And it's Thanksgiving and you're like, what am I going to do? Watch baseball? <laughs> that works. Um, but uh, anyway, back to those picks on Thursday. Okay. We won it. Detroit, obviously, Green Bay won 29-22. Uh, the Cowboys and Washington was a coin flip. The Cowboys won 45 to 10. And then... We don't know the score for 40, the 49ers and Seahawks? I thought we did. Actually, honestly, we won it. I won it. The Seahawks over the 49ers. Me too. And I kind of fell asleep during that game, so I don't really remember the score, but I will write it down. And then... Um, Can you have the money on week 11 with week 12? Right, but we also still got to make our week 12 picks for um, for Sunday. So I'll add that uh, Seahawks and um, Niners score for that when that happens. Um, and then I don't remember if I did a video for my results for week 11. Um... We won at Pittsburgh over the Browns. The Browns won 13 to 10. Then we won at Carolina over the Cowboys. Cowboys won 33-10. No, I'm sorry. We won at Carolina over... Yeah, you said that. Okay, I thought I said Tampa Bay. I don't know. What the heck? And then we won at Miami over Las Vegas. Miami won 20 to 13. Then we won at the Jaguars over the Tennessee Titans, division game. Uh, Jacksonville won 34 14. Then we won at the Eagles over Kansas City, which I forgot to write the score down. Because again, another game that I couldn't comment on because I didn't really watch. Uh, then we won at Detroit over Chicago. Detroit won 34-26. That was a coin flip because my daughter won at the Bears. And then we won at the Bills over the Jets. Now, that was, just so you guys aren't mistaken, that was week 11. Now, the Bills-Jets um, game. Um, okay. The the Bills had great defense. They were destroying the Jets on defense, but they physically couldn't have no offense. I mean, it was like three, four field goals. Mm, excuse me. Yeah, I remember that. And it was like, why, 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 why? I don't know why. Um, And then... The um, the Jets going in the halftime, they had the lead, wonderful, with two seconds to go. The Jets had the lead, going into halftime. Instead of taking a knee, you wanted to go for a Hail Mary pass. You were up by 10, going into halftime, just taking a knee. I was so mad. But that is our week 11 um post review and our week 12 for Thanksgiving review and we'll do week 12 Sunday um video later today once we look up the games but there's one game I can speak on and that's the Bills and the Eagles um Obviously, we're going Eagles because we're from Philly. Um, well, I know I've been boring you guys with this video, so 
Do you have anything to add to this, Hannah? Um, I think you covered it all. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're just here for hoard ornament from Taco Bell? <laughs> I'm just here to entertain. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So, right now, it's nothing, nothing... Ohio State and Michigan with 12 minutes to go in the first and second down. Um, Ohio State. Uh, again, I don't. I want a team to win, but again, I. On the surface, I want a team to win. I want to choose a team. So I can have some content for my channel, but deep down inside, I really don't care. I just love watching football. I love, yeah. I I just love watching the rivalry games. Like, for example, it all started. I wasn't really a college football fan until one day I came home from the mall with my family, and I said, "Oh, it's Saturday at two o'clock. There's nothing on, or three thirty. There's nothing on," and it was an SEC game versus the Alligators and one of the other ones, and I thought, oh, okay, I'll get into it. And then they presented the Army-Navy game that same year, and I thought, I just love the pageantry for the Army-Navy game every year. And obviously, just like the Ohio State-Michigan I just sit back, I pick a side, and just sit and watch. And that's really the two elements that really got me into watching college football. And over the years, I've become a fan of a lot of the teams. But like Georgia. Like Georgia, TCU. The Alliers. You know, Florida. Uh, Auburn at one point. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, Penn State, Penn State, you know, like, you know, cause I gave it a chance, you know, but yeah, but um, my team, I actually because I thought there's too many teams in college football. How do you choose one? Because I really me personally, since we're from Philly, we don't really have a quote unquote college team. Yes, we have a college team in college football. In Temple, but they're not really on TV. So, it's like we can't follow them as much or at all. So, I kind of just, over the years, I kind of um, stuck with Georgia because there was a lot of players on the team that I liked back in the day. And it started with Matt Stafford. Uh, you had um, Nick Chubb on the Bulldogs. And that was pretty much what got me to liking the Georgia Bulldogs. And then I liked Matt Stafford coming out of college and then when he went to Detroit. And I will save that story for my next video. So with that said, um, I'm going to sit and watch a little bit of this game. And hopefully we, we will be back with an update or a second video update on this game and we will see you later thank you and have a wonderful thanksgiving weekend enjoy Bye. that football